This is Tony Thompson, chilling with Bob TV to mine. Hey, Glenn, you chilling with Bob TV and Ron. This is that Mayor Hawk four man on Bob TV to mine YouTube channel. Tune in because this is the place to be, man, all the time. I'm ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. On the Kelbrook, Bill, in Sheffield, there was one fight I was looking to see. And that was Adam Etches versus Sergei Kamitsky. I've never actually seen Adam Etches fight, but I have seen Sergei Kamitsky fight. I've definitely seen Kamitsky fight. And all I knew about Etches was that he had this big punching reputation. Undefeated, 18 fights, 15 KOs. Okay. So, um, Kamitsky's history. He's fought Martin Murray twice, lost on points to him twice in the UK. Now, let's get this straight. I think Sergei Kamitsky deserved something out of the second fight that he had with Martin Murray. I do. That was in 2013. End of, the, end of 2013, that was. I think he deserves something out of it. I've redrawn, or maybe he scraped it. I, I'm keeping it real. Yeah? He also beat up the unbeaten Frank Bullioni. Came to the UK and beat him up after the Martin Murray loss. He lost to um, Robert Stieglitz by TK. I didn't see that fight. He drew with Mick, Nick Blackwell in Germany. Majority draw. Nick Blackwell's a British fighter. Um, quite a highly rated British middleweight. You see, Kamitsky is a journeyman. He's a gatekeeper. He's a gatekeeper. But he, he's a dangerous dude. He's a dangerous dude. Beat Jamie Moore over here. He's actually fought Golovkin in 2007. Lost by a fifth round TKO. And he gave him a decent scrap. Gave him a decent scrap. And I called for Kamitsky to fight Chris Eubank Jr. And I still do. I still do. I wouldn't mind seeing that fight. I still wouldn't mind seeing it. And um, Etches got caught with a right hand early. Which he took pretty well. He came back into it. And his youthful exuberance was doing him was serving him pretty well. He was doing well. He landed some good shots. You can see he has obvious power. But um he made he made a mistake, a little rookie mistake, you know. Stood kinda uprightish, leaned in with a slow looking jab and got countered with a right hand over the top, devastating right hand and was knocked out. Jim Watt was asking, Oh, I think we should let him continue. Jim, are you crazy? And then when he realized that Etches was hurt pretty badly, he changed stance whatever he was talking about and it was out the blue it was out the blue and Etches loses his undefeated record and they even need to do some border control on Kamitsky because he's a handful he's a handful and he pulls off another upset in the UK I think Kamitsky is better than is it Shudanoff the guy who Eubank took the interim title off it's a better opponent this is the type of fight he needs now he needs this type of fight. If he's going to be this Golovkin beater or this world-class middleweight that's going to represent the UK, Kamitsky is the next fight for Chris Eubank Jr. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt. I just want to see how he does. You know, I mean, like, look, it's either got to be Kamitsky or a Nick Blackwell. Yeah? Let's see how you do against top domestic opposition I mean, Blackwell got a draw against Kamitsky. I'll settle for Nick Blackwell or Kamitsky for Eubank Jr. next. So, Kamitsky strikes again, man. Fourth round KO over Adam Etches. And I'm going to go watch Kelbrook. Peace out.